Survivors of brain injury, their families, and their supporters are facing difficult times. But the fight is not yet over. In fact, we will never stop fighting for our patients. It's a common misconception that health insurance covers comprehensive care. That's just not the case. In Marie's situation, without auto no fault, she would not have been able to receive the comprehensive rehabilitation services and quality of care that she really deserves. Truth of the matter is, um, that kind of injury, it's, it's like pulling the plug on the person. Um, her body was alive. She was on support um, in a coma. For all intents and purposes, she was gone for weeks. At that point, you know, we started looking at how do we assess, you know, what, what we can do for her. Are there some more options now that she's responding? After a brain injury, there's so many different things that go into the care. You're dealing with someone's person, the who they are. Um, and to be able to meet all of those needs, you have to have a team so that way you're not missing anything. When Marie got here, I gave her a very basic, basic cognitive linguistic assessment, and she scored in the severe range on everything. And so being able to be here and get the services that she needs is allowing us to continue to help Marie progress because she has some pretty big personal goals, and it's really nice to see her kind of work towards those. The new system that's being put in place is going to threaten the longevity of the rehab. And to be able to really meet the individual every step of the way, you have to have the services available and the system to be able to support that. It really takes somewhere that's focused to, to be able to deliver that life benefit. Uh, with the Michigan No Fault, it's really helped allow us to, to provide that without worry policy makers kind of need to take a step back and realize how much value um, something like, you know, like the benefits that, that we have right now provide a family. They can't put it in the same context that someone that's been through it can. We must stand together to do all we can to ensure survivors of catastrophic auto accidents continue to receive the care they need.